Hi, I wanted to make this video because the GDMU has all of a sudden become pretty widely available now that uh, the Chinese market has started making them and releasing them. So uh, I think a lot of people like myself are, you know, buying at GDMU right now. And this is a topic that I didn't really find a good tutorial for, so I wanted to make one. So with the GDMU, uh, one of the nice things about it is uh, someone has made a application called GD Menu, which allows you to have this nice interface where you know you have this album art here. And one of the things I was running into was a lot of my games didn't have album art, and I wanted to figure out how to do it since I have you know this Dreamcast in an arcade cabinet I wanted to have everything you know have the interface look nice and everything and I started looking around online and I hardly found anything so uh, you know one of the places that I turned to was uh, there's a forum called Dreamcast uh, Dreamcast talks and they have their own discord channel and I went in this Discord channel and I asked about this. And um, one of the users in there, uh, Mr. Neo, he kind of pointed me to the right direction of this OGD text.pvr file. He said that this was a file that was contained inside of the, you know, Dreamcast games image files. You know, because there's two image formats of Dreamcast games. There's GDI format games and there's CDI formatted games. And kind of the backstory with it is when the Dreamcast first came out, uh, all the games came out on GD-ROM discs, which were a gigabyte each. And But the thing was, the Dreamcast could play burned games on CD without any sort of modification at all. So what a lot of people did was they ripped you know, the GD-ROM discs that were a gigabyte and then they would strip out textures, strip out music, and they would get them down to about 800 megs so that they could burn them onto a regular old consumer CDR so that they could, you know, easily duplicate them and play them on their Dreamcast. So other than modern homebrew, a lot of these games, you'll find them in CDI format, and I, I typically think that it's kind of the inferior format. Like if you want the... The untouched you know bit for bit game you want the gdi one you know because this tutorial you'll see i haven't figured out how to do it for cdi formatted games but i have figured out how to do it for gdi formatted games so mr neo here he told me you know this is the file that's contained within the games that has the album art you know and he told me gdi tools which i didn't you know i found a different way of doing it I don't know if that way is better or easier, but this way seems to work well for me. And I thought I would make a, a video so that other people who are recently acquiring GDMUs can, can do this themselves. So there's a couple pieces of software you need. Uh, the first thing I found was this uh, Rebuild GDIs. And where I found that was um, in this forum thread uh, about you know ways down and I'll have the I'll have the links in the description uh, there's this post by a user Rocky 5 who posted a link to this extract rebuild GDI's version 1.2 so I downloaded that and I extracted it uh, using 7-zip to my desktop and it gave me you know a majority of these files you know all these bat files you know there's a lot of bat files to extract and build GDI files. So first you need that. Then you need this other application called PVR Viewer, which I found on Sega Retro. And I'll have a link to this in the description as well. And what PVR Viewer allows you to do is uh, there's different image formats. You know, there's JPEG, uh, BMP, PNG, uh, uh, GIFs, and uh, the the format that the Dreamcast used was PVR, and what PVR PVR is like a proprietary 
I think it's proprietary image format that they would use for their textures and you know all their images. So this is what file format we need to get our image to to inject into the disk or the GD menu. So we're going to need this piece of software too. So you'll see in this folder I've got PVR viewer and I've got the contents of the uh, rebuild GDI's extractor. So then what you need is you need a GDI formatted game. So you know you can rip them, you can download them, you know however you do it you get a GDI formatted game and this is what the file structure looks like of a GDI formatted game and you know this it this still isn't uh, the actual extracted game you know typically when you typically when you rip one uh, you'll get like a zip file or you'll get it in this format and this format it looks like it's like extracted but it's not there's still like it's still like an image format so what you need to do is you need to get to where you can actually access like the all the assets of the game. So what I'll do is I'll take this folder that contains these files and I'll just drag and drop it over the extract GDI image bat file and let it run. So right now it's going to run. It doesn't take very long. I'm sure it helps that I'm on an SSD. So then it it creates this folder named you know Canon Spike whatever whatever extracted. So then you double click this, and you're gonna see this one I actually already put the image into, but if I hadn't, you'd see it like this. So the games that don't contain this file, they're the ones that don't have album art. If they do contain the file, they do have album art, but you may want to modify it anyway. So if I want to get the album art for Canon Spike, what I'll do is I'll go to Google Image Search, and I've already done that. And uh, what I like to do instead of getting like the the disc image, you know, artwork, what I do is I like to get the jewel case cover image. So I'm just going to right click and. Uh, Let's see, I actually want to view the image and then I'm going to right click and save image as and I'm going to save it into that folder just as canonspike.jpg and I'm going to overwrite my other one because I've, I've done this a couple times. So then uh, right now I have my canonspike.jpg file. I'm going to open that up, that's what it looks like. Now the other thing you need to do is you need to resize the file. All of the album art files seem to need to be uh, two, 256 pixels by 256 pixels. So what I just did was I right clicked on it and went to edit to open it in MS Paint. Because then in MS Paint it has this really easy resize option. Switch it to pixels, 256. Looks like the aspect ratio is a little off so I'm going to uncheck that maintain aspect ratio and make this 256. Now it's 256 by 256. Then I'm going to save it out. And then, so right now I have, and if I view the details, see details. Now, view the. One of these views, I think, gives me the dimension. Yeah, I'm not sure. But at this point, it's 256 by 256 six pixels. Oh there it is. Okay so then what you want to do is fire up PVR viewer and right now I'm in the I'm in the proper directory, the extract rebuild directory on my desktop. Then I'm gonna change this U filter to JPEG since my Canon Spike file is JPEG. And then it's gonna give you this little preview. Then you do a file save selected and I'm just gonna save it in the same folder. Now you're going to see that I have canonspike.pvr. Canonspike.pvr is in the file format that uh, that the Dreamcast likes for its images. 
Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this one, rename or copy the name. Then I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to rename my Canon Spike.PVR to that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Canon Spike.PVR and I'm going to extract or I'm going to copy it into the Canon Spike extracted directory. Now, once you have it extracted and you have your image file in it for album artwork, you just take it and I've been I've been dragging it over the build truncated GDI image. Um, I'm not sure what exactly the difference is between build GDI image and build truncated G GDI image. I think it has to do with how it arranges the data, whether it's on the outside of the disk or inside the disk, but I'm not really certain. I know that it's been working for me doing the truncated. That's what I'm going to do. Then I drag and drop it. And then image creation complete. So what it did, just did was it just overwrote everything in the Canon Spike not extracted directory. So at this point, I can get rid of the extracted. Now this version of the game, uh, the the file structure looks a little different. If you rewind the video, you can see before I didn't have a track four, and I think that has to do with doing the truncated and where it's writing the data. So now. Uh, this is the folder that you then stick on the SD card to go in your GDMU running GD menu, and you would have that Canon Spike artwork. And another way for me to confirm that without showing you it in my GD in my GDMU is if I extract this now. It's going to create this extracted. And it's still working. Now it has that ogtex.pvr. So it is contained inside of here. And if we open up PVR Viewer and navigate to the extracted, it's going to show you Canon Spike. So that's how you get artwork for the GD menu. So at, so at this point, I would just take this folder and I would put it on my SD card because this is the GDI formatted version of the game with the album art. So I hope this video is helpful to people. I didn't, I wasn't able to find a good instructional video on this and thank you.